Hello and welcome to EasyLux. In this product video, we will show you how to install the PD-C360i8 Duo Dali and PD-360i24 Duo Dali ceiling mounted presence detectors in combination with the Dali Plus switches. The PD-C360i8 Duo Dali has a detection range of 8 meters. At the recommended installation height of 2.5 to 3 meters, the PD-C360i24 Duo Dali has a detection range of 24 meters. The EasyLux ceiling mounted presence detectors are ideal for independently controlling two lighting areas, such as for classrooms and open plan offices. We generally recommend installing these products in the middle of a room. The detector must be positioned between the two sets of lighting that are to be controlled independently of each other. However, the exact position ultimately depends on the characteristics of the room. To ensure that the presence detectors work effectively, it's important that the detector has an unobstructed view of employees and their workplace. The detector has two channels. Up to 25 DALI or DSI electronic ballasts can be connected to each channel. Channel 1 of the detector is used for presence and brightness dependent lighting control of the darker side of the room, while channel 2 is responsible for lighting control of the lighter side of the room. Settings for the switch off delay time, the operating mode and the brightness target value can be configured. The DALI Plus switches can be used to expand your circuit by two channels. Channel 3 and channel 4 are presence dependent switching contacts with an adjustable switch off delay time. Please note that the presence detectors may be installed only by authorised personnel in compliance with the installation regulations and standards applicable in the country of use. During the installation process, the five safety rules must be observed. Please note that the installation described in this video exclusively applies to the presence detectors identified by the article number shown on the screen. There are three possible ways available to install the detectors. For recessed mounting in the ceiling, the ceiling presence detector can be installed using a standard recessed electrical box. For surface mounting, a surface mounting box is required. This accessory can be ordered separately from our product catalogue. Recessed can housings for in ceiling mounting can also be found in our product catalogue. First, screw the spring assembly to the power supply unit. Then feed the cable through the cable gasket and connect it to the spring assembly. By gently pressing it, the power supply unit can be inserted into the recessed can housing. Finally, depress the springs and insert the can into the ceiling. The power section must be aligned according to the marking with channel 1 facing the wall and channel 2 facing the window. The operating voltage of the ceiling mounted presence detector is 230 volts AC. The phase is connected to the L terminal. The N terminal is used for connecting the neutral conductor. Buttons for the relevant channels can be connected to terminals S1 and S2. If necessary, you can connect slave devices to the terminal S1 to extend your detection area. The master detector will be able to differ between signals from a push button or a slave device. Please note that only up to a maximum number of 10 slave devices may be connected to one master device. Total length of cable may not exceed 100 meters in length. The detector is equipped with its own DALI voltage supply. The DA1 bus terminals are for channel 1 and the DA2 bus terminals are for channel 2. A maximum of 25 electronic ballasts or switches can be connected to each channel. For channel 3, select SW DALI full automation 
and for Channel 4, select SW Dali Semi-Automation. The operating mode can be changed on both devices, but the operating channel cannot be changed. Voltage is supplied to the switch itself via the Dali interface. Floating switching via terminals D1 and D2. A button can be connected via the switch contact and terminal N on the switch for the purposes of switching consumers on and off. Once you have wired the power section, secure it using two screws. Before securing the sensor section to the power section, ensure that the dip switches have been pre-configured for the relevant application. The first dip switch is used to choose between DALI and DSI. The second dip switch is used to activate sabotage protection. The third dip switch allows you to choose between two button and one button operation. The fourth dip switch enables you to select between the preset office and classroom light scenes. Both light scenes can be adjusted individually. The light target value for both light scenes is set at 500 lux x works and the switch off delay time is 5 minutes. The office light scene is used in fully automatic mode and the classroom light scene is used in semi-automatic mode. Once you have secured the sensor section in place, the power supply can be switched on again. The warm-up phase is then initiated. This phase lasts approximately 25 seconds. During this time, the lighting is switched on. The LEDs on the ceiling-mounted presence detectors flash red twice, blue once, and green once to visually indicate the warm-up phase. When the warm-up phase is complete, the red and green LEDs flash as soon as a movement is detected in the field of detection. If the detector has been switched to programming mode via remote control, this is indicated by a blue LED. To configure the detector parameters, please use the Mobile PDI DALI or Mobile PDI MDI Universal Remote Control. These devices enable users to perform operations such as changing the brightness target value, changing the switch off delay times, or selecting the operating mode of the individual channels. If a particular part of the room does not need to be monitored by the detector, you can mask the relevant section of the field of detection using the lens mask. The lens mask can be useful for masking interference sources, such as fans and heating elements. Cut the lens mask along the marked lines as required. Then, place the lens mask in the cover and secure the lens mask in place by rotating it slightly. The detector is now ready for use. You can find more information about our products at easylux.com.